Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this flow cytometry core facility onboarding video. We hope that this video will ease the transition into utilizing the instrumentation and other services provided by the flow cytometry core facility. First of all, let's start off with the staff um, of who runs the facility. So this, I am uh, James Marvin, the director of the Flow Core. Um, I've been here for about 10 years. Over here, we have Tessa, who joined the lab in 2016. And next, we have Josh, who joined the lab in February of 2020. Ashley, who joined the lab in April of 2021, and Fred, who really recently joined the lab in October of 2021. If you need to contact any of the FlowCore staff, here are their individual emails, or oftentimes the best option is just to contact everybody by emailing the flow cytometry at cores.utah.edu email address. And here is the lab phone number. So we provide um, a lot of services, but predominantly we are an instrumentation core facility. So that means um, the vast majority of what we do is providing cell sorting or cell sorting instrumentation, both assisted or self-run, um, and pretty much the same thing for analyzers. We have about a dozen analyzers um, that we provide either assisted or core run or self-run options. In addition to instrumentation, though, we do offer a, a number of other services. Um, sample prep, so we offer complete drop-off services start to finish. Um, that means if you have spleen and you have no antibodies and no lab um, skills whatsoever, you just can drop off your samples and we will um, process the samples. We will analyze the data from start to finish. Um, we offer data analysis services, um, consultation um, for panel design, all that kind of stuff is free. We offer a series of seminars and educational material. Um, there's an email listserv that we manage. Um, we have a growing antibody stockpile um, that is available um, for different researchers. And we also offer the Flojo site. We manage the Flojo site license. So one of the primary questions that we get asked over and over and over again, and one of the reasons why this, on this onboarding video exists is how do I get um, training on the instrumentation. So generally, um, analyzer training, we still like to do kind of one-on-one. -on -one. It takes about an hour and a half. Um, we like to do it with actual samples and controls. So you book the instrument, you show up with your unstained and your single color controls, FMO controls, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we go through a customized kind of training with you and your actual samples. Prior to doing this instrument training, we highly recommend you do the seminars that are available on our website. I'll discuss those in a little, in a few minutes. So basically, step one, contact the lab and request training. So again, uh, the best option would be to contact the entire lab by using this email address. Step two, fill out the request for analyzer training. So this link is in the frequently asked questions tab of our website, which again, we will discuss in a couple minutes. Um, in order to use any of the services of the flow cytometry core facility, you need to fill out a work authorization form. So get moving on that right away. That is not mandatory. Um, I know some people like to come in last minute for analyzer training and they haven't, they haven't already filled out their work, work authorization form and that's okay. We generally accommodate those, but it does need to be done um, ASAP. Step four, um, get trained. So we also do offer um, training for the cell sorters. Um, this is um, a little bit more tightly regulated than the analyzer training. So basically, if you think that you want to do um, either after hours or high frequency sorts, um, contact the lab and we will get, get you going on um, cell sorter training. So we have a, a website that I'm going to demo at the end of this onboarding video, but um, the link to the main website is right here. You can find frequently asked questions, links to presentations, educational material, instrument configuration, policies, all that kind of stuff is, is on our main website. There's another useful website. Um, that's this cores.utah.edu. And that's kind of going to give you a list of all of the core facilities available at the University of Utah. 
And then finally, to book all of the instrumentation, you're going to be using this resource.cores.utah.edu website. So we currently have instrumentation located all over the University of Utah campus, um, all the way down in the Crocker Science Center, SMBB. We have our main kind of um, lab is located in the Wintrow building, but we also have instruments in human genetics, EEJ Medical Research Building, and then HCI, both Research North and Research South. Um, up until about a year ago, all of our instrumentation was kind of just listed under general traditional flow cytometers, but, but due to the specialization of instrumentation that's been happening over the last few years, we've started to kind of separate um, the instruments into different categories when we discuss them. So we currently have three cell sorters. We have a five laser BD fax aria, we have a four laser BD fax aria, and then a two laser Propel Labs Avalon. And the location of those can be found right here. Um, we have a handful of traditional um, flow cytometers. So we have a five laser BD, BD Fortessa with an HTS a three or four laser Cytoflex with HTS, a four laser Canto, a three laser Celesta, a three laser Cytec. Um, choosing which instrument is, is oftentimes based on the location. So if you're in SMBB, you know, you're gonna be using the Cytoflex that's located in SMB, SMBB. Um, and sometimes it's based on the optical configuration. So we also have one spectral analyzer. So that would be the five laser Cytec Aurora. We have one imaging flow cytometer, um, which is a four laser Amnes image stream um, that's located in Wintrow. In addition to all of these being um, HSC flow cytometry core facility owned, managed, operated instrumentation, we also, we also help the pathology department kind of do all the training and services for their instrumentation. So these instruments are only available for pathology faculty um, but here's a list of the of the instruments, and if you need access to those, just contact us, and we will we will get you going for that. So all instrument configurations for every single one of the um, instruments can be found on the website. We have a couple other um, ancillary equipment. So we have a Miltenny Gentlemax tissue dissociator, a centrifuge. If you're doing CBA, cytokine beta rays, we have the vacuum manifold, which can kind of be nice for processing those plates. Um, we have multiple analysis computers kind of scattered around campus. And then we also, as I mentioned earlier, operate the or manage the flow cytometry site license. We also, um, yep, so the so flow cytometry or the the Flojo site license is now operated through the portal um, subscription-based membership. Um, key things on that, you're responsible for the management of it. So if you're no longer using it, if you're leaving the university, if you're changing labs, all of that kind of stuff, um, the details need to be kind of updated within the system. Um, more details as far as how to register and get on, get on board with the um, Flojo portal can be found again on the frequently asked questions tab. So we do offer a series of seminars um, that are all recorded and available on our website. Um, it's going to start basically with actually an Invitrogen video we highly recommend, but then it's going to go into the flow basics, which kind of goes over the instrumentation um, of flow cytometry. You're going to kind of start there, then you're going to move your way over to the data analysis presentation. Um, and that kind of assumes, you know, you now have an FCS file. How do you actually analyze that data? Um, what are the do's and don'ts of, of data analysis? And then for a little bit more advanced topics, we have um, one seminar that kind of links the, the topics of sensitivity, voltages, and compensation. Um, that, um, yeah, that seminar is a little bit more advanced material, so I would highly recommend um, you watch the flow basics and the data analysis before you move into this. And then finally, um, we just have a series of other random um, seminars based on spectral flow cytometry, basics of imaging cytometry, and more in the works. Lab safety. Um, so first and foremost, if you're doing cell sorting, we highly... Um, well, we require, although it's hard to kind of get people to actually do it, but we do have a risk assessment form that we would like everybody to be filling out. 
Um, you can find that on the scheduler. Um, it just allows the staff of the facility to be more acutely aware of what you are bringing into the lab, especially again with the cell sorters that inherently are going to be generating aerosols and have kind of an elevated biosafety risk. Um, there's also links to some BSL-2 classes. We have spill kits available. Um, generally, all of our lab space is BSL-2, or in the case of some of the cell sorters, BSL-2+. plus. So all the appropriate PPE should be worn. Um, freshly prepared bleach, ethanol, and water bottles can be found at each instrument. Um, and there is biohazard and sharp spins kind of scattered throughout all of the, the flow lab. Policies, I'm not going to go into every single one of our little policies, but you can actually, you can read them and you should be reading them. Um, they're all fun on the website. Honestly, most of these are for um, covering our bases when we have very rare problematic circumstances. Most of our policies are pretty straightforward. Um, they're well worth a read. Um, but yeah, most of them are just, you know, for problematic circumstances. So in summary, um, when in doubt, contact the flow, the flow lab for consultation. And now we're going to just bump out to do a quick little demo of the website, which is where you can find a lot of the information that are commonly sent in email questions to us. Okay, so we're going to pop over here to our website. So this is flowcytometry.cores.utah.edu. Um, the first tab here is your home tab. That's basically our blog. Um, we just kind of randomly post things um, when we get new instrumentation or when we've kind of optimized kind of some staining procedures or something like that. Um, so if you just want some light reading, feel free to check up on that. The welcome tab is pretty much just like an introduction to the facility. It's where this onboarding video is going to eventually be posted. Um, and it just, it's, you can kind of see an overview of our instrumentation and also a link to how to, for the text for, um, for acknowledging the facility. Um, the frequently asked questions tab is one of the main tabs that I'd like everybody to be familiar with. Most of the questions that I get on a routine basis are actually offered or already answered within this frequently asked questions. So how can I start using your facility? How do I get access to your facility after hours? How do I get involved in the Flojo site license? Um, all of your common questions are going to generally be answered within the frequently asked questions tab. So next, um, we have the instrumentations tab. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we have now been kind of separating our instrumentation into the different categories, cell sorters, traditional analyzers, spectral analyzers, image cytometers, ancillary equipment, and then finally fees. Um, within each of these um, categories, you will find kind of a link to the instrumentation and then also some um, useful seminars or webinars or um, in the case of, you know, the image stream, um, image stream sample prep guide and that kind of stuff. The, the next tab over is our presentation. So that's one that I'm hoping all of you are going to visit as well. Um, the main presentations that I'm hoping everybody checks out in here were already talked about. So it's the Invitrogen video, um, which kind of gives like a real general overview of flow cytometry. And then we take that information and then we go into the flow basics and then data analysis and then sensitivity voltages and compensation. So here's the link for the audio video recording for each of those. And then also I just want to point out this advanced Flojo seminar. Um, the, actually, the, the only advanced part is the second half of it. So that's where it goes over the computational aspects, aspects of, Flojo, of Flojo. But the first hour and 15 minutes is just a, an introductory uh, walkthrough of Flojo. So if you've never used Flojo before and you want to start analyzing some Flojo or some flow data, um, this seminar is a really good one to watch. Next, we have our policies. Um, like I said, these are for um, rare kind of problematic circumstances, but, but it is, you know, if you're, if you're starting out to do cell sorting, I highly recommend you kind of read over the policies associated with um, cell sorting. And then we just have a handful of other general policies, you know, cancellations, um, billing things and all that kind of stuff, training sessions. All of, all of those general policies can be found in the policies tab. 
Um, we have a protocols tab um, that you may find a couple of, you know, cell cycle and introductory type of protocols. It's not very exhaustive, but um, we do add to it on a somewhat regular basis. Biosafety tab is obviously going to have a link to your risk assessment form that we would encourage everybody to fill out if they're sorting cells. And then we just have um, for either for grant uploads um, or just for your own um, information, we do have an SOP for BSL-2 with enhanced precautions sorting on the Faxaria. And then here's our spills and exposures procedures. And then finally, we have a videos tab that just has a couple of random videos that um, like, for example, how to replace the probe um, on the on the Fortessas going from the short probe to the long probe. And we will continue to kind of update that as we move along. This website is, is pretty new to us, so we're still adding a lot of content to it. So that's about all I have for today. Um, thank you for taking the time again to watch this onboarding video. I hope that um, if it didn't answer your question directly, um, at least kind of it points you into the, the direction where your answers will be found. Um, look forward to meeting you and working with all of you. And again, thanks for your time.